Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to have a look at how you can send an access table to a Word document for mail merge, and also how you can send an access report as an email attachment. So first of all, let's have a quick recap of what we've got here. So these are the tables, we've got table of customers, which I'm gonna use for my mail merge. And we have got some reports that we did and there's one invoice, customer invoice, if I just double click on that one, and invoice number one, there's an invoice. That's what I want to send to the customer as a PDF. So what I'm gonna do is create two macros to do that. So up at the top, create macro. So I'll do the um, send to email first. So over on the right hand side on the action catalog, which you need to have clicked on like that, You've got some data import export options and the one I want is the email database object. So double click that and this whole array of information drops down. So the object is going to be a table. The table is going to be customers. In fact, I'm doing this wrong. I want to do this as a report, not a table report and it's going to be customer invoice that's what I want now the output format you've got several options the one I want is a PDF you can this is a very old format similar to PDF can't edit it really and then you could if you was, if you knew who this was going to every single time you could put the email address in there but I'm going to leave that and then the subject is going to be invoice and message text here is your invoice and do I want to stop the macro so I can edit the text yes I do and you've got an option there for a template file but that is basically all I want to do so I'm just going to save that save the macro so it's MCR for macro and then email invoice is what it is so just click OK to that and then if I run this macro it's asking me for the invoice number, invoice one, and that should open Outlook and allow me to address it and edit this if I need to. But if I do we'll click on this PDF file, you can see there is the information from that invoice. So that's that one, close that down. I use that quite a lot myself to send invoices and booking confirmations. Close that down and I'll close this macro. And the macro sits set down the bottom there. So you would attach that to a button and put it on your main menu and just click that when you want to send an invoice or you could put it onto the actual service uh, form. But the next one is mail merge. So another, another macro, create macro. So again, in the action catalog, I've got that activated. You've got mail merge. Now, before you do the mail merge, I need to open a table. So we need to open not form um, great open table that one so that's what I want and then it asks you for the table name so ours is customers table customers and that's okay and now I want to mail merge double click on word mail merge and it opens up this option which is all I need the command mail merge I need to save the macro as MCR mail merge. Okay. Now when I run this, let's see what happens. Run. It opens up the Microsoft Word mail merge mail merge wizard. And it says, do you want to link to an existing document? No, I don't. I'll create a new one. Then you click OK. And then it either pops Word up or it starts flashing at you like mine is at the bottom and then you go into the document with the mail merge element active now you can use this side if you want um, I'm just going to use the ribbon across the top so just to show you that if I click on edit recipients you'll see all the people in that database all the customers in the service database okay and what you've got there is the address block. So I'll just put the address block down 
LK DSR or something of DSR, madam. Here is your um, information leaflet. Information leaflet. Now, if I click on preview, you see all the information, and then you've got different records all the way there. I'm just noticing there's no surname coming through there, so let me just have a quick look back on the Access database. It's not bringing in customer name, which is strange. So let me just block that off. That's the address block that's not working there. So, you, but that doesn't matter. You can just um, bring it in individually like that. So, Mr. Black, and then address, and then underneath that, city, and underneath that, county, etc. You're just doing it manually. Postcode. And then that should be the same for everybody. Just changes over. There's no details for the last person. So once you are, once you've got this complete, you can see any mistakes like that one there. Like there's no title on that record. If you go back into access, um, you see there. That's why there's no, there's nothing actually in there. Mr. Green. That's where you have to fix it if there's a mistake. So I'll just do that in here. Mrs. Brown. Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones, and we'll have that as Mrs. Saxton. So that's the fixing that, and there's no address on this one. So let's say he lives at One Red Road, and Red Ford, West Yorkshire. So we've got no um, lookup list here, so that's why it's not actually filling it in. And we'll do um, BD22RT, that'll do. Don't need a telephone number. So back into Word. And you just rotate the thing through. Now, there's another typo, you see that. There's no point in me trying to fix it here because I can't. You've got to keep going back into your access database and wherever that is, Mrs. Green at the bottom, you fix that. Green, and then if I close this table, yeah, I'll close this macro, carry on with the mail merge. So, the last part of the mail merge is if we go on to the next record. You see, Miss, Mrs. Green's now been fixed. So, if I go back, Mr. Blue, Mr. Black, every, everybody's good, Mrs. Saxton. And then you finish your merge, edit individual documents, okay. And then you should have, if I just zoom down in Word, a letter per person. So when you merge from access, it is the access table that you need to correct when you see things in Word that are incorrect. Hopefully that makes sense. And then I'm just going to close this down. I'm not going to save it. And I'm going to close that down. I'm not going to save that either. And then I'm going to get back into access. So that macro is sitting at the bottom there so you've got email invoice and mail merge so if i open that one again it starts the whole process again and if i double click on that one it asks me for the invoice number and then i just address this invoice there is the invoice copy so hopefully that was of use for you that was that's the end of this session so that was how to send an, an email attachment in this case an invoice and how to do mail merge from microsoft access so hopefully that was cool for you and i'll see you on the next one